today we're gonna see a problem on the, on the binomial distributions using marbles. First, we got the number of trials, which in this case is five. And then we got the probability of a success, which in this case would be 0 0.5384. And the probably uh, the trials for success will be three. Okay, so we want to find three black marbles. After that, you're gonna, you're gonna want to use the formula, which is p x is equal to x is equal to n c x p x times a one minus p because it's uh, the probability the probability of failure and to the exponent n minus x. After you have the formula well defined. We can start with the problem. And we can substitute the values. And the answer would be 0 0.33, which is equals to 33.25%. There you have the first answer for A. Yes. So in problem B, we got the exception that it is asking us to get three marbles at most. And here the keywords would be at most, which would be asking you from any values from three below. Which in this case, we would do the probabilities for zero, one, two, and three. After you find those percentages, you're going to add them. And your answer is going to be 76.5. 0.72%. Yes. So for, for problem C, we have the now we want no black marbles. So in this case, since there are no black marbles, we're just gonna do the probability for zero because there will be no marbles. So the answer for this problem, you see that uh, we substitute the value of x, which is zero, and you this will give you a one. This will and because it's to the power of zero, and the final answer is gonna be 2.09%. Okay. Right. So for the final problem for number D, they're only asking for black balls. Yes. So for problem B, <laughs> they're only asking for only black balls. So in this case, since the number of trials is five, so they're only asking for black balls. So in this case, the X will be five. Because out of five trials, there will only be black balls. So you substitute the values, and the final answer will be 4.52%. In this problem, we have to integrate this equation. To solve this problem, we must first simplify entirely before integrating. We divide the equation into fractions and then we can use the rule of dividing exponents that we saw in class. We subtract both exponents in each fraction, leaving us with one variable x per fraction. Now we can begin to integrate. First, we sum each exponent by 1. We also add a c as part of the integration. We can also simplify the second fraction to make it into a tree. Now we divide each fraction by the exponent. I used a method here where the outermost numbers in a fraction multiply with each other. The innermost numbers in the fraction multiply as well. The product of the outer numbers is the numerator, the product of the inner numbers is the denominator. As you can see, we have variables with negative exponents. To solve this, we simply send the variables to the other side of the fraction. Doing this will make the exponents positive. Using the rule of fraction exponents, we convert the 7 thirds into square roots. We simplify the remaining fraction and we have our answer. 